let's wrestle! Across the country and ask any any wrestler uh, anywhere in the country and, and say Fargo and, and they immediately know what you're talking about and uh, it's it's USA's premier uh, premier event uh, for for our, our high school age uh, athletes oh! <laughs> The Far Random opened in December of 1992 and the first USA Wrestling Tournament was July of 1993. I don't believe there was a year that was skipped. There was always some sort of a USA Wrestling Tournament here, so uh, it's been 25, 26 years. We have about 5,100 athletes that will compete across, across the next week. Uh, of those 5,100, we have about 750 women, so it, it, it has grown, women's wrestling has grown. This event is, is, uh, continues to do well here in Fargo, North Dakota. Um, we have almost 8,000 members that will come in one capacity or another, whether they're athletes, coaches, officials, support staff. So it, it's a pretty big deal to the Fargo-Moorhead community, and obviously for USA Wrestling, this is one of our crown jewels. It's a challenge just to earn a, a bid to uh, USA's wrestling event he hosted here in Fargo um, in itself. And, and then you, you get here and you, you compete along the, the best kids in the country. The quality of athlete that comes out of this event is, is an athlete that, that is going to be go beyond most of them. And, and they will be NCAA champions, they will be NCAA All-Americans, and they will make world and Olympic teams for USA Wrestling. This is kind of our breeding ground where we start to really infuse those athletes into our pipeline to hopefully make them Olympic champions down the line. Really, it's uh, about as grueling of an event as, as there is. You can see a kid walk out of here with 9, 10, 11, 12 matches uh, per, per style. That's, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're a good wrestler and you, you, know, you win and lose at the right places, you're gonna get a lot of matches. Um, you know, so you, you could uh, wrestle both styles, freestyle and Greco-Roman. You're looking at five to six days of competition. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see 14, 15, 16 matches wrestled. To the end! Oh! At this it. level, I think college coaches just come and they want to look at a kid that's doing extra. Who's doing the extra in the summer? Who's wrestling year-round? And that's really what I think they're trying to identify the talent model is how much does a kid want to continue to wrestle. Part of the competitiveness of this event and, and uh, again, what makes it so special is, is just everything that's ultimately on the line for these, these young athletes and, and uh, being recognized by universities and, and different college coaches that, that come to recruit this event and uh, give these young athletes opportunities after high school at uh, a lot of different levels is, is really important and, and you know it provides an extra opportunity for us as coaches to see these, these young men compete with, uh, with a, little, a little added pressure on their shoulders and, and uh, allows us to learn a lot about the uh, young, young men and women as well.